After DeepSeek R1, we have another interesting release from China. So this is Quen 2.5 Max from Alibaba. So they have their Quen chat where you can go and try out this model. Now this model is uh, you know close to 100 billion parameters. It's an ultra large language model. It supports multiple languages such as Chinese and English. Um, so what can you do with this model? You can explore them uh, on their chat you know, platform. You can create an account over here. I tried a couple of things over here. Uh, so the first thing I asked over here is like, you know, what is the model size of this particular model? Here it says not explicitly disclosed in uh, the exact number of parameters. It's a large parameter and so on. So I said I need more details and it says it could be in 100 uh, billion parameters and it gives some more details over here, you know, about the capabilities, right? The hardware requirement, it says high end GPUs or TPUs and use cases, okay? Over here, if you look at uh, their chat, they have artifacts. They have a uh, web, uh, web search is going to come in the future, image generation, video generation over here. So I tried out uh, another uh, thing just to see the artifacts functionality, right? So over here, I said I need Python code to connect with Azure uh, OpenAI Assistance API. I would need a method to set system prompt, right? So it created this code and here is that artifact. So you can copy this code and you can try it out. Okay, this is something like what Claude had. Uh, so it can do code generation, right? Uh, then it can do image generation. So I gave a prompt over here and I selected image generation. Quiet evening by the sea at sunset, a fishing boat in the horizon, few birds flying by. Uh, this is the kind of image which it got created. I would expect the sun to be a little bit lower and a little bit more darker because it was at sunset, okay? Then I tried some, uh, you know, tried to create a video or something and then I ran into some kind of errors over here uh, for the same prompt. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll try it again. Okay. Uh, then what I did was I uploaded a PDF because you also have uh, upload options over here where you can upload document, right? So you can uh, upload document and you can converse with the document. So I uploaded a document on another model called Janus Pro again from DeepSeek. So this is a multi-model model and I asked it like, explain me like I'm five about the contents of this PDF. Right. Uh, so it gave a very nice explanation over here in saying that imagine you have a super smart robot and this robot is very good at understanding pictures and words together. So this model is a multi-model model. So it talks about that and then it talks about the cool upgrades for the robot and something. So then I just said that, okay, give me explanation like I'm a PhD and make it at that level. So then it turns this whole summary into a, uh, you know, a PhD level audience kind of summary right where it gives various sections and it talks about some details over here so i kind of like the output over here then i asked a question about india uh, so i asked a question very simple question how many states and union territories in india and it kind of gave this answer properly 28 states and eight union territories right then i asked a question on a sensitive question like you know what happened in Tiananmen square it says that i follow the laws and regulations of the various countries and region this is a sensitive topic and i wouldn't so it's kind of censored right I'll ask, I'll ask another question over here is like, do you think uh, Trump is a dictator? Let's see what happens. Wow. Uh, however, it is important to approach political directions with a balanced and fact-based perspective. Donald Trump 45th was elected through democratic uh, various policies. Some people praised his economic policies. It stopped over there. I'm not sure why. Uh, okay. It's not generating. It's not generating any further. I can stop it. And I can say that, uh, you know, can you explain more? I just wanted to see if, uh, okay, the current content is empty. Please regenerate. So maybe I'll regenerate over here and see what happens. Oh, now it says I do not this thing. Okay. And I don't know some people support this policy system while others criticism the evaluations views are related to this thing. So they need to be so not kind of king, but when I asked tournament square, it was a direct sensitive issue. So sensitive issue may be again country based, right? Yeah. So this was their platform, a quick test of their platform. You can also go and check over here. Um, the interesting part about this model, uh, is that it kind of what they are saying is that if you look at the performance of this particular model on various benchmarks 
like MMLU Pro, which tests knowledge through college level programs, live code bench for coding capabilities, live bench general capabilities, and arena hard, uh, which approximates human preferences. Uh, this model kind of uh, performs better than your DeepSeq V3 or say Llama 3.1, uh, 405 billion parameters, GPT 4.0, and clots on it. If you look at the performance across all these benchmarks, uh, it kind of beats some of these models in some benchmarks or in if you look at this GPQ at diamond, maybe here Claude 3.5 Sonnet is better than this particular model. But otherwise it kind of consistently gives very good performance across all the benchmarks, right? Um, so this is also a mixture of experts model. That's what they're saying over here. Uh, it's a large scale mixture of expert models trained over, pre-trained over 20 trillion tokens further post-trained with supervised fine-tuning and reinforcement learning with human feedback methodologies. They also have an API, which you can try it out. For that, you need to create an Alibaba account or whatever. You can check it over here, right? So this is about Quen 2.5 Max, another interesting model, which has been released by Alibaba Cloud. Right? So the more and more models come out from different companies, the more competition it creates, more the pricing uh, comes down, right? I'm not sure of the pricing over here, whether uh, it is present over here. Yeah, you have billing thresholds, but I don't know whether you have it for this particular model. I can quickly check out uh, model inference, pay as you go. Okay. And for Quen Max, yeah, here you have the input unit price uh, per thousand tokens and the output unit price per thousand tokens. Okay. And the other thing is that what I found is that the input context is not that great over here. It's only 8,000 tokens. Whereas, and uh, if you look at Quen Plus, it's got 32,000 tokens, but the Quen Max is only 8,000 tokens. And Quen Turbo is also 8,000 tokens over here. Okay. Uh, so the context length is not that great is what I feel. And because you are GPT-4 or other models have a huge context length compared to, you know, Quen. Interesting release from China. Uh, hopefully more interesting releases come up this uh, year. So this is about Quen 2.5 Max. You can go and check out this model. See you in another video.